Hi, Tom Lydon here in Chicago at the Morning Star Conference with Dan Draper, Global Head of ETFs for Invesco. Great seeing you, Dan. You too, Tom. So as this kicks off, there's a lot more representation here at the conference with ETFs. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little about the evolution specifically regarding factors. Yes. A lot of people are looking at factors today. Yeah. Well, I think the whole focus increasingly for many clients is now the appreciation of asset allocation. So once you get to that, that level of understanding of you know, the risk adjusted returns, diversification, then I think the question then goes, well, how can I find better tools to do that? And I think that's where the factor conversation has really started to accelerate in the last year or two. It's been amazing. And we've actually seen with the flow so far year to date, mm -hmm. a lot of money has been going into specific factors yeah. or even multi-factor strategies. Walk through what advisors are looking for with individual factors and then multi-factors. Right. Well, I think you know many advisors for really a couple of decades have been using style. Yeah. So they're used to kind of risk premiums around small cap or maybe value. But I think now the opportunity to think about low volatility, quality, maybe even uh, you know income through dividends and what have you. And I think that was particularly accelerated if you think about the sharp sell-off we had in December, November, December last year. Right. But then you had um, you know the contrasting the rally and kind of a, a real uh, you know kind of a V-shaped recovery year to date in equity prices in particular. So it's that type of volatility where investors start to think, well, all of a sudden I, I expected more of a pullback end of last year. Now I'm in the midst of a rally. Rather than owning maybe market cap weighted, which is a bit more of a momentum strategy, yes. then maybe I should own low volatility, own quality, because if I get yet another correction, you know, am I properly diversified? So I think yeah. the, the thinking and I think the willingness where you had uh, portfolios readjusted, you had maybe some, some tax related selling and, and adjustments as well, as you come into this year, let me really see which factors can help me longer term. And we've seen obviously influence. Absolutely, and, and a lot of people have been talking about the traditional indexes like the S&P 500 mm -hmm. are very heavy in certain factors. Right. So you're kind of making factor bets by investing in the traditional indices, right? That's right, and I think too that we've seen really, particularly in the last decade, but a longer term trend in many key sectors, heavy concentration and just two or three, maybe you know three or four names in that, in that sector. So all of a sudden you're taking maybe a bit more idiosyncratic risk than you realize. Whereas can I use, you know whether it's factors or things like equal weighting or a different uh, re rebalancing strategy to diversify better, you know, keeping an eye on my end goals. Yeah, absolutely. You got to know your risk. Now with multi-factors, you get a little bit of everything, but almost tilts at the right time. So during late stage economies, you may have some tilts in the right areas that tend to do better in that area, in, in that time of the of the cycle, correct? That's right. Well, I think so, so again, understanding how the single factors work, but getting the correlation benefits and in some ways a more precise tool, right, of using these different risk premiums, you know, with a rebalancing strategy, again, it can really help overall portfolio diversification. And with Invesco, you get a lot to choose from. You do. Especially with the recent integration of Oppenheimer. Yeah. So congratulations on that much. as well. Yeah. Great seeing you, Dan. You too. Thank you, Tom. Thank you.